Hey everyone, on to episode 2 of Voltron Legendary Defender Season 6, Razor's Edge. Actually, first a quick presentation aside, I didn't realize the angle would interfere with this, but the shirt is actually overall red to keep with my wearing paladin colors in some arrangement throughout the season. So it's not another gray one, even though, from what you can see, it's gray. <laughs> but anyway, this was another very enjoyable episode. I might not talk about it much because it's there is some plot progression, but it's much more of a character piece on two fronts. So I guess I'll talk about the B plot first. Since it's not as much. I mean, <laughs> plenty of fans have probably already wondered about this possible development, but Hunk Pidge and Lance are wondering, really wondering if Lotor and Alora might be gaining feelings for each other. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> I mean, there's still... Paladins are all still adjusting just to him being an ally. <laughs> that they're Not just... Possible love interest for their, like... You know, overall leader. <laughs> It'd at least be an interesting bond if things progress that way. <laughs> but right now I'm kind of uneasy about it. It's natural plot progression stuff with that is them spending a lot of time together working to integrate Galra tech with Altan alchemy and stuff. Really, you know, move along their mission with having discovered Orion and whatnot. But also we get a pretty nice technically technically one man scene with Lance and the little Altaian mice that make sporadic appearances thanks to their connection with Allura. He sort of Muses to himself, like, what he th actually thinks of Alora, besides his, you know, recurring flirting and stuff. That he actually finds her, you know, very smart, courageous, inspiring. So it's like, okay, it's... At least on a pretty good emotional level, it's... not superficial. Also... Unless it's in like, been in like, supplemental material somewhere. I think this is the first time on screen we've gotten a little bit of this bit of background for him. And that he just casually drops that he's of Cuban background. So, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Besides trying to analyze their names, I don't think we've really gotten specific, like, nationality information for any of the Paladins. So that was a nice quick bit of info. But the main story goes back to what we got close to the fifth season finale with Keith's mission alongside Crolia, the Blade of Marmora member who turns out to be his mother. They go on a further mission to figure out the origin point for the unique quintessence that Ranvig discovered, or at least transported. I forget exactly how that went. And with that, we get a cool setting in the Quantum Abyss, which is essentially a system of a 
erratic stellar orbits that create like gravitational and space-time distortions. Obviously, definitely going to the science fantasy element of this here because kind of like the main plot situation is besides navigating through the dangerous gravity that can like spaghettify people who get too close the central star which may or may not technically be a black hole sends out random like energy pulses that can bring forth visions of past and future to like opposite people traveling together at least it seems what's overall like Keith got several visions of Trolia's life how she first came to earth how she came to know Keith's father and of course raising a family there And her, in turn, finding out what happened to the father sometime after she left. And honestly, there were, and the last, the last one was pretty extended. But even though those flashback sequences got me pretty emotional. Like, it probably works best in this way. But I was kind of thinking it would be interesting if we got like. I don't know, like, kind of like a time jump anthology season or something just on that family. Because it was heartfelt, it was action-packed. Makes for a cool sci-fi story even outside the bigger Voltron plot. But it's good that we get some more progression on that side of things. Looking at the Blade Ramora, at, you know, Keith discovering who he really, who and what he is. Well, of course, still taking time to look at the big mission with the Paladins and the Gaura. So basically it for this one. See you soon with episode 46.